press conference, we're going to head over to the State House where we're talking about education and why it matters to your children. Today at the State House, the Senate continued debate on a bill potentially giving some South Carolina families public funds for school costs, including at private schools. News 19's Julia Kaufman has a breakdown of the bill and who could get that money. School choice has been a big topic this year in the South Carolina legislature. I think it would bring uh, credibility, accountability to the schools. Midland's parent Rusty Williams thinks giving families more options would improve schools. Just see it as a challenge to make education better for everybody. One effort that some lawmakers say could expand school choice is Senate Bill 935. It could create scholarship funds for students that are low income or have special education needs. We're giving opportunity to a poor child in South Carolina that does not have that opportunity now. Senate Majority Leader Shane Massey says eligible kids could be awarded $6,000 from the state to use on tuition and fees for public or private school, textbooks, tutoring, transportation, behavioral therapy, and more. But Senators Marlon Kimson and Mike Fanning worry the costs of private school don't give qualifying students much choice at all. I gave you the numbers for the private schools in Charleston. Well, the $15,000 a year. And I'm talking kindergarten. And that's just the, the kindergarten. And concerns were raised on lack of protection for kids with disabilities. There is nothing in the bill that prohibits a private school from, you re from rejecting you solely because you have a disability. Massey says he doesn't want to require private schools to accept all scholarship applicants because they might not be the right fit. There are some private schools that cater focus on specific disabilities. But if you say you got to accept everybody, then you're going to bog them down such that they can't focus on where their specialties are. If the bill becomes law, scholarships could be awarded to 5,000 kids for the 2023-2024 school year. At the State House, Julia Kaufman, News 19, WLTX. Senators adjourned today before voting on the bill, but will continue the debate next Tuesday.